Oh boy, has it been a bit since I sat down and filmed and I feel like you can tell because I don't know what's happening with the angle and no matter what I do, I just can't seem to get it right. I feel like a big part of it is the lighting, the lighting, <laughs> but um, I don't really know how to fix that because I decided to film a little later today. So the big light in my room is just atrocious. Hello frenzies, welcome back to my channel. I don't know if you can tell, uh, if you can, I'm so sorry, but I am currently sick. Not the big scary. It's not COVID. However, that doesn't mean you should stop wearing your masks. COVID is real. All of the like colds, the seasonal flus that are going around are not any better, to be quite honest with you. So for me, it's just a head cold. That doesn't mean it's necessarily better than COVID. It's still not great. I've been sick all over Christmas weekend. So that was that was great. That was super fun. I loved that. I still had a lovely holiday. I hope all of you had lovely holidays no matter what you celebrated. I know there are some holidays that continue into January. Is Kwanzaa one of them? I believe it is. I believe Kwanzaa is the holiday that continues to January 5th or 6th. So if that is something you celebrate as well, I hope you have a lovely holiday. Anybody that celebrated anything, I hope you had a lovely holiday. New Year is right around the corner. I just wanted to talk about some stuff on the channel before the new year. I also, as I was getting ready today, noticed that this is the same outfit I started like videos in 2023 in. So I thought, you know what, actually, let's finish it off in the same outfit. Thought it would be kind of funny. Uh, and also because I don't feel well, this is the first day I've had like any energy to do anything other than like move from room to room. So I wanted to look cute and I wanted to like put on a little outfit. <laughs> I think the big thing, if you haven't seen the community tab, which I have been utilizing lately uh, on my channel, if you haven't seen the community tab and you didn't uh, see my Instagram story, I have not been posting Not So Berry. There was one beginning of this month, but there hasn't been any since. I believe that was three weeks that we missed on top of the four we missed in August, because I believe it was four Saturdays in August, and then a couple episodes here and there. I'm totally fine with that. I'm so sorry if Not So Berry is something you really look forward to every Saturday, and then there's been a lot of like, surprise, no Not So Berry. I really want to apologize for that. However, I don't feel bad that I missed a lot of Not So Berry in December, because I have said this, and I did say this, I made a whole video letting you know that because of the holidays and my awful retail job that gets even worse during this time of year, that if there was going to be a sacrifice on a video being posted, it was going to be not so berry on Saturday. Because while I still love that and I love making two videos a week, it makes me feel very productive, makes me feel very good, makes me feel very happy about what's happening on my channel. I am more willing to lose a Saturday video than I am to lose a Wednesday video. So I'm so sorry if you were looking forward to that. We will be back in January. One moment. So sorry, I had to blow my nose because I feel like it's, I'm all stuffed just on this side. So it feels great. Anyway, uh, I'm so sorry if you were looking forward to Not So Berry and we haven't had it. In January, the first Saturday video in January, because I believe it is exactly January 6th, uh, and the 7th of January is when we started Not So Berry. That's when the first episode of Mint Gen was ever posted. So if you're missing Not So Berry, maybe go back and start from the beginning and watch the absolute chaos that is the Mulberry family. But um, the first Sims video on the 6th of the new year is going to be... I don't know exactly what it's going to be, but I want to do something like Not So Berry related without it being like an episode of Not So Berry. You know what I mean? So we shall see. We'll see what that is. At this exact moment in time, I do not have any idea what it's going to be. I can also feel like that pressure in your ears that you get when you are when you have a head cold. Oh, I'm not feeling great. But yeah, Not So Berry will be back in January. We'll start with Plum Gen in January, no worries. And we will see how the schedule goes in 2024. For the most part, I believe there's going to be a Not So Berry every Saturday in 2024 until it ends. There might be a month like I did in August where I take the whole month off. There might be next year in December, if we still have to make it to December to make Not So Berry episodes, then I might have to take December off as well because it was just chaotic. Chaotic. So we'll see. I'm very happy with how this year went though. Videos and just like things in my personal life, I'm very, very happy with how things turned out. And I hope you guys can say that 
for yourselves as well. Um, I do wish the best to all of you because all of you are really great. We get a lot of traction. My baking videos have gotten a lot of traction this year, which is so cool. I really, really appreciate that. I feel like we've had a lot of fun. I feel like we've been on a journey together, especially this year. This year felt very, for me and the channel, felt very like, how do I, I don't want to say transformative because that's not the right word, but that's the first word that popped into my head. It just feels good. I feel like we did a lot this year. And the first like Wednesday video of January, I want to talk more about like goals, aspirations for the channel and everything. So I won't really get into it here. But I just kind of wanted to do like a big end of year kind of vibe. I feel like we fucking crushed it. And compared to 2020 or 2022, bleh, compared to 2022, I feel like we fucking aced it for the channel and everything. Because 2022 was rough uh, on the channel and in general, like personal life and everything. And I feel like this year was like exponentially different. I'm really proud of like a lot of the videos I made. I love that I started doing baking videos and those will continue. I like kind of doing them like seasonally almost. So I th I'm going to try like every other month or every like three months with a new baking video because I have so many cookie recipes that I want to try, but some of them feel like very summery to me. You know what I mean? <laughs> I definitely want to continue making Sims videos. Obviously, like, we're still going to continue Not So Berry. We're only on Plum Gen. We've had... Have we even had the first episode of Plum Gen? Oh my god, the day I'm filming this, I couldn't tell ya. Did, no, we just finished Grey Gen and did Grey Goodbyes, so we haven't even had episode one of Plum Gen. So we still got a way to go. We got to do all of Generation 5 and then get through the last five gens. We will have a good time. I promise we'll have a good time. I am playing Plum Gen and I do have like parts of episodes recorded, just not finished and edited. We're having a good time. We're having fun. And I hope you guys have had fun throughout this year. Let me know. You know what? Let me know in the comments if you're here hanging out. Let me know in the comments what your favorite video was this year. What was my favorite video? I loved the videos I made in January of last year. Like all of January I loved. I love any of my Stray Kids videos, let's be honest, because it just gives me an excuse to like talk at you <laughs> about all of the things I love about Stray Kids. I've really loved the baking videos. We've had a great time. And I, lo I love that little uh, like that vlog I did in August with like the music on it and everything that got copyright acclaimed, of course, because uh, why wouldn't it? <laughs> I just don't have $15 a month to be subscribed to Epidemic Sound, so we'll see. I really liked that video too because it was just like a lot of clips of like a really nice two weeks that I had in August. I worked maybe 12 days in the entire month of August because I had so much time off to hang out with my best friends and to hang out with my mom and go on a nice vacation and that was a really good time. I had a really nice month of August. The last couple months have been a little rough because, again, my shitty retail job this time of year, fighting tooth and nail for time off. So, a bummer, but we'll see. Yeah, like I said, uh, in January, first first Wednesday video of January, we will talk. I feel like I'm doing this a lot and like cocking my head kind of weird. I don't know why. It's because I don't know where I'm centered here because I don't know like what I want my backdrop to be. I will figure it out. Anyway, next Wednesday video which will be the first Wednesday of January, is going to be just like goals, aspirations for the channel. Not like a New Year's resolution, because I feel like I've said this in multiple videos before. I feel like New Year's resolution puts a lot of like pressure on it. I feel the same way about New Year's resolution as how most people feel about what happens on the internet is that the internet learns a word and then like completely takes it out of context. So that's how I feel about New Year's resolutions. I have like very mixed feelings about it. We'll talk about kind of like goals and aspirations and some like crossing our fingers, really hope it works out for next year kind of vibes. And I think that'll be fun because it gives you kind of like something to look forward to. But also this, I just wanted to do like a nice little close out and say thank you guys for like an incredible year. This was like, again, I feel like on the channel this year has been incredible compared to past years. And I always worry that I can't come up with any more ideas and there's no like there's no new content for me to make and this and that but then I always end up coming up with videos and if I don't come up with videos I make bullshit ones that end up being kind of fun anyway so <laughs> I feel like it's a good trade-off and now that all that's out of the way because I really wanted to do that 
Uh, we're going to do some news with Sharky Chico. Now, if you have been paying attention, which you should be paying attention because the United States is actively funding a genocide happening in Palestine and in Gaza, um, I have the, it is, it is a post on Instagram, which I will put here so that you can see it. And this is just the updates of the day that I'm filming. So these are updates, it says on here, from day 79 of the genocide happening in Gaza committed by Israel, funded by the United States. But the day I am posting this video, I believe it's going to be day 81 of the genocide. So keep an eye out. And there will be news, unfortunately, of more atrocities that are being committed by Israel. So this is just like what I have when I'm filming. So when this is posted, pay attention. But I do have stuff written down because filming on my phone, I can't like pull it up actively, but I do have everything written down. Christmas morning, Israeli soldiers stormed and attacked Bethlehem, which if you are somebody that uh, is faithful and believes in Jesus and everything, Bethlehem is the supposed birthplace of Jesus. So if you've been like not really caring about the genocide this entire time, but you really believe in all that, are you just super chill with Israeli soldiers attacking the birthplace of Jesus, you fucking shouldn't be. Several kidnapped in Jenin. I hope I'm saying that rightly. I feel like I'm not, so please correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, Israeli, oh, sorry. Israel targeted a 600-year-old monastery in southern Lebanon on December 23rd, which is super fucked up. Remember when the Western world was so torn up about Notre Dame? Uh, just lighting on fire. I don't remember how that happened, but nobody seems to give a fuck about anything happening in Palestine and Gaza. So love that. Uh, Christmas Eve massacre in the Magaz Maghazi refugee camp in central Gaza. 70 plus people were killed. Christmas Eve. Not only are these people, not only are the Palestinian people completely displaced, um, being killed, under rubble from multiple Israel airstrikes, being shot at, being tortured, being kidnapped, being starved to death and suffering from sickness and hunger. But on Christmas Eve, there was a massacre in a refugee camp. So love that. Uh, airstrike hit the roads connecting the camp, obstructing entry from ambulances and rescue workers. So they're just, Israel really wants to completely wipe out Palestinian people. And if you're not if that doesn't upset you, then you really need to get the fuck away from this channel and me. Because I 1000% stand with the people of Palestine. The country that I live in actively funds this genocide, and that is completely fucked up. Do not think that this government speaks for me and speaks for anybody else that is in support of Palestine, because this government doesn't speak for fucking anybody in this country except for the 1%. So, fuck Israel. Fuck the United States. Love Palestine. I love all of you so much. And all I want for you is safety and just like peace. Peace and fucking quiet for five minutes, you know? <sighs> Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Uh, and let me know that you are in support of Palestine or you can get fucking blocked. Bye. See you next year.